In the immortal words of Abraham Lincoln, the ballot is stronger than the bullet. And in the words of Hillary Clinton, voting is the most precious right of every citizen. And we have a moral obligation to ensure the integrity of our voting process. The United States was founded on principles of democratic participation that guarantee the right of all citizens to have a role in shaping their government. It took almost two centuries to deliver on the guarantees in our Constitution, especially for women and people of color. Now we face a new challenge. The majority of young people don't vote. Why is it important for youth to vote? Let's look at a few reasons that teens should register to vote at the age of 16 and vote when they turn 18. Because your vote does matter. Voting allows citizens to have their voices heard and have a say in decision making for the country, and that includes the youth population. Taking advantage of your right to vote will help the country accurately represent the people and help make the United States a better democracy. Voting gives you the power to make important choices because those you elect will speak on your behalf. You get to decide what you like and don't like about the United States. And voting is how your voice on those matters is heard. All adults, especially young adults, should be voting. Voting shapes your future. If you fail to vote, you are yielding this power to others to make the decisions about the leaders and the laws that will shape and lead society. It is likely that the decisions of older adults might not line up with the perspective of younger generations. In the last presidential election, only 46% of 18 to 29 year old voted. Compare that to 70% of those 65 and older. Even fewer young adults vote in primary and local elections. State and local elections have a great impact on your day-to-day -day life, and it is important to vote at all of these elections. Registering to vote and actually voting is quite simple and only takes a few minutes. The minimum age to register to vote is 16 in Massachusetts. You will be automatically registered to vote when you conduct certain transactions at the Department of Motor Vehicles. For example, applying or renewing for a learner's permit or a driver's license, unless you decide to opt out. You can also register to vote online. To do this, you will need a valid driver's license, permit, or state ID, and a signature on file with the Registry of Motor Vehicles. If you do not have a signature with the RMV, you can register in person at your town hall using the last four digits of your social security number. The high school administration encourages every eligible student to register to vote and has added a link on the high school webpage to facilitate the registration process under the students and families tab. There are deadlines for registering to vote in a primary or general election. The deadline to register to vote is typically 20 days before the election takes place. The voting process itself only takes a few minutes. It is not an added burden on citizens. It is an honor and a responsibility. First, you check in by giving your name and address to a friendly poll worker. If you are an unenrolled voter, commonly referred to as an independent, or if you are a member of a political designation and you are voting in a primary, you will also be asked which party's ballot you wish to choose. Once you receive your ballot, head to one of the voting booths and make your selections, and then check out again by giving the poll worker your address and name. After you've checked out, you will submit your ballot by inserting it into the voting machine for your vote to be registered. Congratulations, your voice has been heard. When you turn 18, you're eligible to vote. There are two ways that you can vote, by going to the polling location or by mail, called an absentee vote. For students in college, voting may seem impossible, but it is actually very simple. Absentee ballots can be used to vote by people unable to get to the polls on election day. First, you fill out an application by printing it off at the Secretary of State or Town Clerk's website. 
you can request to have it mailed to you, or you can vote in person at Town Hall. Once it is completed, mail it back, and when the ballot is available, you will receive the ballot by the mail, along with the return address. Once you fill out the ballot, you can either mail it back, or you can bring it in in person to your city or town hall on election day. You may be thinking, what difference does my one vote make? Throughout history, many elections have been won by a margin of just a few votes. In 2012, in the Iowa caucus, former U.S. Senator Rick Santorum defeated former Massachusetts Governor Mitt Romney by 34 votes out of 29,839. In the 1960 presidential election, John Kennedy defeated Richard Nixon by 112,000 votes out of 7 million. And in the 2000 presidential election, George Bush defeated Al Gore by only 537 votes. Every vote matters in an election, even though millions of people participate. After the results of a recent presidential election, protests broke out across the country, yet only 56% of the protesters had actually voted. The results of the election could have easily been changed if the other 44% had voted. Protesting after the fact may get their voices heard, but participating in voting could have actually changed the election results. Voting gives you the right to complain if things don't go your way on a key ballot measure. We must revitalize American democracy and show the younger generations the importance of voting by casting our own votes. As ex-president Barack Obama said at a rally, And then there's Donald Trump. Don't boo. Boo. If you don't like how the government is being run, you may be thinking that you'll just not vote. Boycotting elections changes nothing because when you sit out, you don't force politicians to pay attention to your interests. It's easier for the political system to ignore your wishes because no one in power will be worried about losing your support. If you were running for office and you knew only 46% of youth voted. Wouldn't it be easier to discount that generation? Voting in national and local elections can make a difference in how the country is run. Don't throw away your right to vote. Don't be among the 54% of those ages 18 to 29 who plan to sit out the election. Register, follow the news, and when election day comes around, Cast your ballot. Your voice matters. You can make a difference in these elections and have your voice heard by voting. Now, more than ever, it is essential that young people take advantage of their right to vote, creating the future that aligns with their fundamental beliefs and setting a precedent for future generations. As United States Representative Joseph Kennedy III states so eloquently, the strength of our democracy lies in the freedom to raise our voices by casting our vote. Every effort to restrict that right must be met by fierce resistance, grounded in the simple idea that everyone in this country matters. Everyone in this country counts. And as young people, you hold the unique power to chart the course that this nation takes in the years and the decades to come. So use that power as motivation to register, participate, and to vote.